I mean, here's Mr. Tough Guy, Mr. Mean Guy, Mr. Take No Bull Off Anybody. I mean, he was the kind of guy that would, you know, if he saw you walking across the street, he'd go across the street and pick a fight with you. Um, sometimes when they have a few drinks, they uh, like to fight. And uh, John, you know, he didn't get the nickname Bull for, uh, for nothing. I said, who is he? He said, that's John the Bull Bramlett. He's, he's a, he was known as the meanest man in football. Johnny was blitzing like crazy, and I'd throw the ball and complete the pass. He'd hit me, he'd knock me five yards back. But after about the fourth or fifth hit, I said, Johnny, you're not gonna get me with the ball. Lighten up a little bit. I'll get you, Joe, I'll get you. He was uh, a, a lot of speed and a lot of ability, but he just had, um, he had a wire loose. He was becoming uh, somewhat of a star in sports. Now there was the other side after football, John started getting in the little fights around town. We were on our way home and I saw the traffic, it was stopped out in the middle of the street. And I thought, what has happened? And we got closer and there he was out in the middle of the street fighting. There was, there was a fine line there between him being a fun drunk and a mean drunk. Yeah, I was very scared of my dad. Let me tell you something, people. Hey, I've been drunk on just about any and everything you can get drunk on and crazy on, but I want you to know when I met Jesus, he gave me something that the alcohol and the drugs couldn't give me. He gave me a peace in my soul that passes all understanding. And you see, that's what you is looking for, you see. But you ain't gonna find it in the alcohol. You're not gonna find it in the drugs. You're not gonna find it in money or none of that stuff. You're only gonna find it in Jesus. Christ changed it. And then he became passionate about spreading the gospel. And for many people, they, they would say, is this the same guy? Is this the same guy I played with? Is this the same guy I used to run around with before? You were placed on this earth by God to do his thing, not your thing. And you ain't never gonna be satisfied till you do his thing. And I said, God, I said, if you can do anything with me, I said, the rest of my life belongs to you. And I've been in love with him ever since. The heart is he lived for the devil. He lives for the Lord by 24 7. There's only one way to heaven, you see. Only one way, and that's through the precious blood of Jesus. That's it. No other way. It's not by works of righteousness which you have done, it's by God's mercy and His grace that He saves you. He had taught us all those years what not to, I mean, He was by example what not to do. But now He was trying to teach us what it was to really be a real man. John proves that God still works miracles. John is a miracle. I mean, you're talking about turning your life around from here to there, uh, it, that's a miracle. From a man that, that cursed God to a man that now serves God, uh, I, I, there's no greater message. And John is a, is a shining example of what God can do in all of our lives. I mean, we was all in bad shape. We was all sinners. And that's what he laid down his life for. Hey, that's love.